A huge foot was about to crush the boy. The boy begged him for mercy as he fought back the nausea, but the giant ignored him and stomped on him again. Luckily, John was able to get out of the crevice just in time. Then he had the bright idea to tell the giant that he wanted to see his ability to become smaller before he died. I didn't realize that the giant not only had a low IQ, but also a problem with his intelligence. He was really fooled by the boy and was going to show him a trick. He smiled and turned into a wisp of white smoke and then drilled into the bottle. John saw this and rushed over to put the lid on the bottle. It was only then that the giant realized he'd been duped. But no matter how much he begged for forgiveness, the boy was going to throw him back into the sea. So the giant promised him three wishes if he would let himself out of the bottle. John saw that the giant was so sincere, so he let him out. The free giant cow out to him on the spot. Then he kept his promise and asked John what he wanted. But his first wish was very simple. He ordered a delicious grilled sausage. The next moment, the sausage appeared. The hungry boy was so excited that he grabbed the sausage and ate it. The 10,000 meter tall giant promised to grant the boy three wishes in order to repay him for saving his life. John said he wanted to find his long lost friend Jack. Hearing this, the giant smiled evilly and then he lied to John that he could only see the whereabouts of his best friend if he could get the clairvoyance. Then he let the boy grab his own hair, along with a strange pace. He instantly catapulted to start, but also flew up like Ultraman. In just a blink of an eye, he flew over several mountain peaks. This flying ability was really awesome. A few minutes later, they arrived at the treasure hall. The giant told him that the clairvoyant was inside the temple and blew him in with one breath. The boy looked up and saw that the clairvoyant was embedded in the forehead of a statue of Guan Yin. In order to save his best friend, John had to go inside. However, as soon as he walked in, he found a pile of white bones. Obviously he is not the first person to come here. The boy drew his sword to defend himself. But just when he came to the next room, there was a huge spider web, and underneath there were two giant octopus. Apparently, these are the guardian of the clairvoyant beasts. John, as a mortal, was unable to fight against them at all. But now that he has come here, he still summoned up the courage to climb up. With the continuous vibration of the spider's web, he soon woke up the giant spider in the corner. But John didn't realize it yet. He was still climbing upwards, not knowing that the giant spider was already behind him. Then the monster fell down and attacked him. Luckily, John was quick to pick up his sword and swung it around. But it didn't do any damage to the monster. But he couldn't do any damage to the monster. John tried to run away. But the spider was chasing him. At the moment when the monster jumped at him, the boy swung himself up with the spider's silk and cut it off with his sword. Without the spider, the spider fell down and became the food of Squidward. John was able to climb up the statue, but just when he was about to take down the clairvoyant, the security guards from the temple rushed over. At this critical moment, the boy took off his clairvoyance in time and then summoned the giant to save him. After confirming that he was safe, he took out his clairvoyance and found that his best friend had been dragged into the execution ground to be beheaded. It turns out that before that, Jack was still the king, but he was framed by Tom and was expelled, and even the queen was taken away from him. When John went to rescue him, I didn't realize that Tom could do evil magic and turn Jack into a blind man and John into a dog and then banish them to the border. In order to make Tom let them go, the queen had to obey him. And thus the evil spell was lifted from them. Jack was restored to the light and John was transformed from a dog to a human. However, the two of them still want to try to save the queen, but Tom again cast the evil spell, overturning the boat they were traveling on. It is only when John wakes up that he encounters the giant running after him. When he learns that Jack has been captured again, he decides to let the giant take him to rescue his best friend. But the giant took him to a mysterious place, and then turned around and left without doing anything. John realized that he had been tricked by the giant. Angrily, he smashed the clairvoyant to pieces. However, in the next second, the world began to rotate. When everything calmed down, John realized that he was in an interdimensional space. Inside the room, there were a group of old men stoned on melon seeds. So they are the mountain gods who were sealed in the ground by Rulai. The clairvoyance that John broke just now has unlocked the seal. To repay him for saving his life, the mountain god gave him the magical bow, an arrow, and Aladdin's flying carpet as well. With the power of the magic weapon, the boy rushed across the ocean on his flying carpet. The carpet was several times faster than an airplane. Soon after an hour, he arrived at the execution ground and shot the executioner through the head with a single arrow. When Tom saw what was happening, he got on his white horse and ran away. But he couldn't dodge John's arrow. Just a woo sound, that arrow hit his head. He fell to his death on the spot. Jack finally regained his throne and his beautiful queen and lived happily ever after. John, on the other hand, flew away on a flying carpet to settle the score with the giant. This is the 1940 British fantasy movie, The Thief of Baghdad. The boy is being chased by a giant. 
he finds a way to trap the giant in a bow. The giant promises to grant him free wishes. The boy wants to see his friends. Instead, the giant takes him to a dangerous temple in search of a gem. The boy gets the jewel, but the giant leaves him behind. In his rage, he shatters the gem and accidentally enters a mystical realm where he acquires the artifact. He rushes back to the torture chamber to save his best friend and kill the bad guy. Then he went to settle the score with the giant. This story tells us that only when you face the difficulties bravely, you may meet the miracle. I'm Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.